Viva la vegan! Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from vegan.net and welcome to this week's question and answer. This is part of our series that we have here every Tuesday on this YouTube channel and every Friday on iTunes, Podomatic, Stitcher and Scatter Radio for our podcasts. Now, um, this week it is how do I give up cheese? You may have seen a couple of weeks ago a video I did about how to give up dairy products. So if you have not seen that, I suggest that you check that one out now or after this video. Um, also mentioned that um, you should see this as a positive rather than a negative thing instead of saying giving up cheese. Um, put it around into something positive and know that you're taking a great step to change your health and your lifestyle plus helping the planet and our animal friends. So I guess the first question that's really important to answer is do you really want to change this behavior? And if so, then the rest is really easy. A lot of people go vegetarian as I did as they don't want to contribute to killing animals but eating dairy products and cheese is truly contributing to killing and abuse of our animal friends. One of the main ingredients in cheese is rennet and this is found in the stomach lining of calves. In the China study, we learned that casein, which is the protein in dairy, is actually the biggest known carcinogen, which is cancer, which means cancer causing, and it's more of a cancer causer than so many other things. Cheese has the greatest concentration of casein than any other dairy product. And casein is also highly physically addictive. The caseomorphines are created when casein is broken down in the digestive process. And this morphine-like opiate effect on the body makes you feel happy, relaxed, and indeed addicted. If you're focused on taking this great step towards positive changes for you, the planet, and our animal friends, then you're part of the way there. And but here's a few other tips that might help. Get on top of the mental games that your brain might play. Distract yourself from old habits. Have the willpower to quit. Know why you are motivated to quit and remind yourself of these reasons. Know that your cravings will pass. Find substitutes for your favorite things and there's so many substitutes for cheese. Um, Dyer cheese in particular from the US is coming to Australia very soon. Um, we have our own vegan cheeses in Australia like mozzarella and there's some from the US, uh, from the UK and Europe as well including Vergusto which is quite a popular cheese. There's many other cheese alternatives. You can make your own cheese with cashews and other nuts. Um, I have a really popular video here on YouTube about how to make vegan cheese sauce which you should check out and just has four ingredients so oil milk um, nutritional yeast and flour so check that out it's easy you just need to do a bit of research if you're not used to the vegan alternatives and make sure that you connect with others just so that you keep on track and so you feel that you're being supported so if compassion is more important to you than taste then you've definitely come to the right place so I hope that that's helped you and good luck with this challenge ahead and you can do it. A lot of us have done it before you and a lot of people will continue to do it. And I look forward to seeing you next week for our next question and answer which is what is Europe like for vegans and activists? See vegan.net for more information and I'll see you then.